Hello and welcome to FPS Coach. My name is Ron Rambo Kim and in this video I wanted to answer a great question that I got from one of the viewers and his name is Drizlan and he asks, when you aim should you focus your eyes on crosshair and enemy in our peripheral or the other way around? And again this is a great question so I want to answer this in in two ways or two parts. The first part, I want to reference back to my video that I made of information processing. Um, and in that video, I referenced an analogy of when you drive, when you're driving down the road, you have to be able to focus on what's ahead of you on the road, but also at the same time, you have to be able to focus on all different things around your eye. So let me load up an image here and show you. So you're going to focus on the road, yes. And then you have to focus on your odometer and how fast you're going, your speed limit. You're checking both your side mirrors to the left and right. You're checking your rear view mirror. Uh, you're checking both blind spots to the left and right. And then, you know, of course, there's uh, traffic lights, there's pedestrians, there's other cars in every single direction. So your eyes are constantly bouncing back and forth between all these, um, all your, your peripheral to gather information. And this is exactly what you do in a game like Counter-Strike where, you know, the road right in front of you is a crosshair and that's where most of your, your focus and eye attention happens. But at the same time, you have to be able to focus on all these other bits of information like, you know, your radar, your, your teammate positions, the round time. You have to hit the scoreboard to see who's alive, uh, your health point, utility available, um, all these things. So your eyes are always bouncing back and forth quickly from your crosshair to your peripheral and all these little bits of information. And the second part I want to answer this question is, do you remember when you were a kid and you remember looking at an ant pile and there's, you know, hundreds of ants that are scattering around. And if you unfocus your eyes where you're not really focusing on like a single point, you can see all the ants like fairly clearly, like it's your vision spread apart wide, but you're never, you're not focused on one point. And then conversely, say if you focus on one ant, like say you focus so much that you could see the antenna or the eyes of an ant, everything else around that ant or whatever that focus point is, um, around that is blurred, right? So the same thing with Counter-Strike. You've, you've got to be able to have the ability to focus your vision in and out constantly um, from your crosshair to the peripheral vision. So sometimes um, you might actually move your eyes, like physically it'll bounce around, right? Um, you don't want to be moving your head because that changes view alignment. So you've got to be able to stay centered with your eyes and bounce your eyes around and quickly gather information within a second or not even a second, half a second, the faster, the better. So, and then as your eyes are glancing back to your crosshair, you've got to be able to focus it like laser point, focus it down to the point you could see the antenna or the eyeballs of an ant. Because when we're aiming at a head and using our crosshair, we're aiming at just a few pixels. So you've got to have that laser focus where, you know, if you're cross, if you're aiming with your crosshair, you can line up exactly where you need it to. And sometimes like when I'm tired or maybe my eyes are dry because I'm tired, I have an issue of having that laser focus. And sometimes it seems like I'm focusing on the crosshair, but I don't have that pinpoint precision that I need to have if I want to, you know, hit headshots. So thank you to Drizzlin for that great question. And if any of you have any questions, no matter how big or small or complex, shoot them in the comments and I'll do the best to answer them the best I can. And like the video, subscribe to stay up to date. Thanks.